Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe Word of the Day. I'm Denise Pass with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Believing Jesus is the Christ is more than just believing in a historical figure. Jesus Christ is risen, anointed, and appointed as a Savior of the world, fully God and fully man. Reading today in the book of John, chapters 11 and 12, and the verse of the day is John eleven twenty seven. She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. Word of the day is Christ. It is the Greek word Christos. It means anointed one, chosen one, Messiah, Son of God. The Greek English lexicon says, Fulfiller of Israelite expectation of a deliverer, the anointed one, the Messiah, the Christ. The Theological Dictionary of the New Testament says this final Davidic ruler will be Yahweh's representative on earth. The Messiah is characterized by permanent possession of the Spirit. Endowment with the Spirit makes it possible for the Messianic ruler to reign with piety, wisdom, and righteousness. The Messiah is a prophet and teacher of the law as well as king. He makes a new and living reality of the covenant between God and the people. According to the BibleInfo.com, Jesus Christ combines his name, Jesus, with his title, Christ, meaning Jesus the Anointed One or Jesus the Chosen One. Jesus is his human name as announced to Mary by the angel Gabriel, Luke 131, and Christ is his title as the Chosen Anointed Son of God. In John 11, the resurrection of Lazarus happens after Martha confesses that Jesus is the Christ. Reading from John 11, verses 21 through 27, Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. Today we will hear people say the name of Jesus in vain. They have no idea what they are saying. Christ came in humility to redeem all who would believe and call on his name. But those who misuse his name do not understand. They are cursing the one who will judge them and send them to heaven or to hell. Christ came and lived a perfect, sinless life, and then defeated death. He came as a human into human history, but he has always been fully God and fully man, the only one who could lay down his perfect life as a sacrifice for his people he made. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Join us tomorrow in the book of 1 Timothy.